Hello everyone, welcome to Competitive Academia. This is Current Capsule. So let's start our discussion with the first article. DRDO innovates automotive sanitizer and ultraviolet device to fight coronavirus. Two institutes, namely Defense Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences and Institute of Nuclear Medicines and Allied Scientists. Both of these are laboratories of DRDO and in Delhi, they have designed an ultraviolet C light based sanitization box. Now, ultraviolet C is one of the most powerful having wavelength 254 nanometers device and it consists of a shorter but a more intensive and energetic wavelength of light. It is particularly good at destroying the genetic materials in COVID-19. It prevents the viral particles from multiplying and this device disinfects from smaller things which are in around in our houses or in our office like objects, chairs, files, postal delivered items, food packets, etc. This measure will help to reduce the transmission of coronavirus. In the picture, you can see this sanitizer dispenser. Now, DRDO comes under Ministry of Defense and it is the premier defense and research organization in our country. The next article is Fish Gills used to develop efficient low cost electrocatalyst for rechargeable metal air battery. Now, this institute is behind this innovation that is, Institute of Nanoscience and Technology located at Mohali. It is an autonomous institute under Department of Science and Technology. What is this electrocatalyst? It is an efficient and low cost technology and an environment friendly energy conversion device. Let's see something more about it. A catalyst is something that increases the rate of chemical reaction and an electrocatalyst means any, anything that increases the rate of electrochemical reaction. Electrocatalysts are a specific form of catalyst that function at electrode surface or maybe at the electrode surface itself. Why it is important? Because it will help to overcome the bottlenecks in realization of several renewable energy conversions and storage technologies such as fuel cell, biofuel cell and metal air battery. That's all from this article you can remember. The next article is Remdesivir. This is a new medicine which is thought to be a possible treatment for COVID-19. Now it is a broad spectrum antiviral drug. Antiviral drugs are those drugs which are given to treat viral diseases. So nothing more was there in the uh, news so we have put up other things related to it. We have, we have to have a clear knowledge of bacterial diseases and viral diseases. Some of the common diseases we have mentioned in this slide. Cholera, leprosy, tuberculosis, plague, syphilis, anthrax, meningitis. You have to know little details also about it. It has been asked in the previous year papers. Among the viral diseases, the most common are common cold caused by rhinovirus, chickenpox, flu, smallpox, measles, mumps, rubella, HIV, Ebola, SARS and rabies and the most famous COVID-19. Now let's move to the next slide. Refugee women facing greater violence risk during coronavirus crisis, according to United Nation High Commission for Refugees. Now, United Nation High Commission for Refugee is a agency of the United Nations. It is mandated to protect the refugees, forcibly displaced communities and stateless people and ass assist them in their voluntary repatriation, integration and resettlement. This United Nations High Commission for Refugees do not apply to Palestinian refugees. Very important to remember. United Nations High Commission for Refugees was created in 1950 amidst World War II. Its headquarters is located in Geneva in Switzerland. It is the member of United Nations Development Group. It has won two Nobel Prizes, one 
in 1954 and another in 1981. That's all from this article. The next article is RBI on Monday asks banks and NBFCs to carry out money laundering and terrorist financing risk assessment exercises periodically. Now let's know something about NBFC. It is a financial institution which is registered under Companies Act 1956. Very important to remember. It is a difference. It is one of the difference between bank and NBFC. It is engaged in the business of loans and advances, acquisition of shares, stocks, bonds, debentures, securities issued by the government or local authority. It does not have a full-fledged banking license neither it is supervised by international banking regulatory agency or national it facilitates bank related financial services such as investment risk pooling contractual saving and market brokering there are certain differences between a bank and an nbfc the first is it cannot issue check it cannot issue demand deposit Deposit Insurance Facility of Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation is not available with NBFCs. Now, there are certain examples of NBF NBFCs. They are investment companies, asset finance companies, non-banking financial company factors, infrastructure finance, microfinance institute, loan companies, systematically important core investment companies these are regulated by rbi the next article is minor forest produce allowed to be collected amidst covid-19 now ministry of home affairs has allowed the collection harvesting and processing of minor forest produce and other non timber forest produce such as bamboo grasses edible seeds fruits flowers plant etc it is the mainstay of the people living in the forest and as, and it is also the source of livelihood for them here certain minor forest produce are mentioned like bamboo mat bamboo is a minor forest produce fruits of melotus olive oil opium flowers of palash Minor forest produce is a subset of forest produce and it got its definition in 2007 when the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers act was enacted in 2006 the date the year is very important to remember minor forest produce includes all non timber forest produce of plant origin and includes bamboo brushwood stumps Canes, tussar, cocoon, honey, waxes, lac, tendu leaves, medicinal plants, herbs, roots, tuber, and the like. The definition of minor forest produce includes bamboo and cane, also very important to remember, thereby changing the categorization of bamboo and cane as trees under Indian Forest Act 1927. Under Indian Forest Act 1927, Bamboo was earlier categorized as a grass, but now it has been categorized as a minor forest produce, but only in the forest area. It is still a grass according to a taxonomy in the non-forest areas. That's all from this article. We'll come up with some new articles tomorrow. Till then, thank you for listening and like, share and subscribe.